because here at the Saarland Haller, Ian White has made it his business to produce excellent. Yeah, yesterday's excellent victory over Jeffrey Disvan, in which he averaged over 101, was the sixth time that Ian White has posted a three figure average in this tournament. It's only the third year it's been held. Will it be a white wonderland at the end? 140. Of the German darts open. And he does have a, a very good record against Darren Webster as he looks to pile in the first match of the match. 9 1 leads the head to head stats. And seven of those meetings have occurred in the 42. last three years, with White winning six of them. Yeah, just the one this year so far. That was a 6-4 victory in Wigan back in February. 53. Did beat him in a, a final last year on the Pro Tour. I've also enjoyed victory against him at the European 51. Championship back 51. in 2017. 60. Now, 20 for tops. Once the first start out of the way, that should be okay. It is okay, more than okay. Good start for Ian White. Yeah, and look, after the massive disappointment of last weekend for Ian White, where he was beaten by Karol Sedlacek, missing 32 darts at double, he started yesterday against Jeffrey Desvan by mucking about on double five and double one again, and he was visibly relieved to nick that leg. And then he settled down and got better and better. To start with yeah, a not. very, very typical Ian White 14 dart leg. That doesn't look good for Darren Webster because you know he can just keep on 29. motoring along like that. Well, that didn't look good for Darren Webster either. A uh, score of 29 is not going to help his cause. Is White looking to strike and looking to perhaps 96. this weekend double his tally of Euro Tour titles, having won one last year. It's certainly a possibility, and if it's going yeah, to happen anywhere this year, then you would think here, where he has some very good memories, might be the place. Because last year, Ian White, yes, he was well beaten, but by a, a stunning performance in the semi-finals by Michael Smith. But he'd just beaten Van Gerwen 6-2. He'd beaten Chizzy 6-0 with 106 average. Seen off Cameron Menzies to start his campaign. He's in again. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 174 to leave double 16. And Darren Webster is in danger of being taken out of this game entirely in the opening stages. Double eight. Double four. 28. It doesn't even matter that he's missed because Webster is stranded way back. Sixteen. And you require four. Double two then for 2 0. Little bit awkward. Deciding to go to the left. Is that the right decision? No score. No, it so wasn't. Sure. But Webster still stranded way back. He'll be leaving some kind of finish this time around, but. 58. In your still a, a big ask. Three figure combination. Should White continue? To falter. Oh my. <laughs> no score. He's getting further away. Webster is slowly getting closer. He's quite close now. 98. Not close <laughs> enough. <laughs> Have another go, Ian. Well, that would have been an absolute mugging. And look, with the way that Ian White is not even getting close to double two, it might yet yeah, happen. Well, he, he should go for two double ones, I think. <laughs> there yeah, we go! Ian White. Well, 
Ian White, he had his nervy so leg in the first leg first. yesterday. He's had a nervy leg in the second leg here. Yeah, Man, he's problem for Darren is that he applied no pressure at all. we well, given up on that leg, hadn't he? And he paid the price there because he only got one dart for it. And had he been actually at it a couple of visits prior rather than just going, oh, well, I'm not going to win it, then he might have got more opportunities. As the number two seed, of course, Ian White is in the opposite half of the draw to the number one seed, which is Michael Van Gerwen, the man that White has beaten here. On each of the last two years, victories of 6-1 and 6-2. Yeah, so semi-finalist last year, semi-finalist the year before as well, again beating Van Gerwen in the quarters. Did it 6-1 with 104 average, but that weekend again, it was a 107 average against Mervyn King, 103 average against Warwick Sheffer. Do you remember him, the South African? But it was Benito van der Pass who did for him in the semi-finals. So I suppose the bonus for Ian is if he does go and make the semi-finals, he knows Benito and Michael Smith aren't here to ruin his weekend. Although... Gerwin Price, Rob Cross what could be. And Ian White has been there or thereabouts most of this year. You mentioned the horror show that he had over Easter. Webster lands a maximum to make sure he will be waiting if White can't go out here. 14s. Leaves the bullseye. Oh, you saw the ring Thank move. Treble 20 then for Webster. And now surely he'll look at two double tops. He's found one of them. But he Easy. can't find the other. And it Easy missed one, by a margin 25. as well. Just not really happening for Darren Webster, is it? Well, that would have been some leg of darts, that. 180, 100 out with two double top. This time he goes 17, double four. Well, Yesterday he was going 9, double eight. On the third leg. Yeah, and it's taken it out, so I it doesn't really matter, Dan. But having just one. missed so many darts at double two, you'd think he'd try and stay as far away from that particular target as possible. Well, I, I suppose he'd started eight. that previous leg going at 16s and 8s, hadn't he? Thought, cut out the middle man, let's get down to two as quickly as possible. Yeah, no time for small talk. <laughs> 100. Yeah, I was just saying before, White has been there or thereabouts this year. He's mm. made quarterfinals on several occasions, lost in a final in Wigan earlier this year, back-to-back -back semis in Barnsley as well. Has just been the on-stage stuff, where Ian White hasn't really had a deep run. It would be his first quarterfinal of the year on the stage this year, lost in the first round of the Masters. 57. His first appearance at the UK Open or came into the tournament a little mm. bit later in that one. And the last 16 of the German Darts Championship. And last weekend's immediate exit followed 100. one at the European Darts Open as well. Yeah, but you look at that, that floor stuff, the Players' Championship stuff, and he, he's just doing what Ian White does. That 100. was when he lost, to be fair, to a very inspired Justin Pike. Yes, and that was a... A strange old game, wasn't it? It's not the one off. 81. Webster. Okay, tops, tops again. 64. Well, the first start this time 80. was very similar to the second one last yes. time. Double 20 for double 10. Moving up towards the double top. And now looking at the double top. And now yeah, looking at a 4 0 lead. And Ian Good White is just two legs away from making it 10 wins out of 11 against Darren Webster. And there is still a chance that he could emulate the 6 0 whitewash he produced against him, what, five years ago now? In a tour event when they played it at the Rico in Coventry. Yeah, the football might be all that Darren Webster has to smile about this Sick. weekend. Come on, Darren, where are you? Let's be having you, Darren. <laughs> 60. Well, just a little bit flat, isn't it? Yeah, I can't seem to 
get anything going. Perhaps that attempt at tops tops might have sparked something for the demolition hey, man, but he's the one being demolished. Oh, you want? <laughs> they seem to put no effort into that last start and then be extremely frustrated at the outcome. Yes. The absolute picture of focus there, Ian White, though. 180 number two. 60. Oh, he needs to fill this up just to get to a finish down Webster. He doesn't look lightly. Well, I think he's perhaps thinking about if you were allowed to do it, just conceding oh, the match at this stage and offering the early handshake and one shake and wandering off because it's just not happening at all. Looks like we are going to see Stokes number one versus Stokes number two in the quarterfinals. 60. Well, that will be one half of the draw completed where all of the top seeds have made it through to the last eight. Yeah, and a stark contrast to last weekend Six. where in the half of the draw away from Van Gogh, none of the top seeds made it through to the quarterfinal stages. Tops. Double ten. 46. But once again, White messing around on the doubles and Darren Webster... Stranded. 70. Back in the 200s. Oh, creative use of the bullseye to make sure he leaves a finish, but Ian White could be two for double four, and <laughs> he's shaking his head there. I think Darren Webster is holding uh, a sort of post-game discussion with himself before the game has finished. And all Ian White could do is shake his head pin the double and move to within a leg of a whitewash. Yeah, well, it was all going fine for Darren Webster, wasn't it, until the ref called what game on. on. Yeah. So the other half of the draw will start after a very short interval. Peter Wright meeting Dave Chisnell. 60. Winner here a couple of years ago, Snake Bites. Then it's Mensa Sulevich against Daryl Gurney. James Wade against the UK Open champion Nathan Aspinall. 85. And then the Dutch darting duel between MVG and RBB to bring an end to this afternoon's proceedings. Ninety-seven. Well, in a tournament where Ian White has consistently produced excellence, One this may be his biggest margin of victory with one of his least impressive displays. Silly game, isn't it, darts? 108! Times it's made to look a very simple game as well. Webster might get a leg on the board, but Ian White could stop him in stunning style. Two trouble 19s. He's got one of them. Oh, very nearly. 121. Darren, you've got 40. Double 10. Double 5 to avoid the white, white wash. Yes, on the sixth leg, Darren Webster. Webster wins a leg. Seven leg is Ian to throw first. Game on. Well, the comeback's on. Not sure what the last start was about from Diamond White in the previous leg. 48. Caught Kirk Bevins off guard. One hundred and thirty seven. It was a fifteen dart time. He left forty after twelve darts down Webster, which is something he's not been doing in this game. So maybe there is a little bit of life in this. I'm not sure hey, I can see him winning six legs on the spin, but... Well, you did make the point, Dan, that it's White's worst performance hey, on that three. stage. And if someone is going to reel off six consecutive legs against Ian White here, 
He would it's going to be, be right now. Yeah, when he's playing like he's playing. One hundred. Although Adrian Lewis was not at his brilliant best in his win against John Henderson either. One hundred forty. It's a very interesting section of the draw. Let's see who would come through. I think most people would make the winner of the Price Cross Clash favourite to go on and reach the final. Well, certainly, but I mean, when you look at ninety-two, oh, look at the Pro Tour stuff. Rob Cross, Gerwin Price, Ian White. They are the three guys, along with Michael Van Gogh, who are averaging more than anybody else on the tour this year in the Players' Championship stuff. Yeah, White perhaps does get missed a little bit, just down to the fact that he's not in the Premier League. People don't know how good this man is. They need to learn. Another leg. 40. Well, if it is to be another leg for Darren Webster, he needs to rely on Ian White not taking out the Shanghai shot. Darren Webster, his favourite double is double top. He's not managed to hit it all game, apart from one double-double attempt where he couldn't get the second one. Well, his eyes will have lit up when he saw White wander into the treble one. Was Webster wandering his way back into this match. Well, he's won two on the spin. Could sneak his way back in. Just Has he got into this match by giving up? Well, I mean, look, we have seen that happen in the past, haven't we? Jamie Lewis mentioned it at the World Championship yeah, this year. Against Darryl Gurney. Against, yeah, Darryl Gurney. Oh, won the game, accidentally. Bizarre yeah. stuff, but maybe Darren Webster could skirt under the radar. I mean, he skirt under any radar. He's four foot Six. tall. Tons, hun 40. You'd be expecting Ian White to leave himself a finish after the next visit as well. It's just a sort of Ian White leg. It doesn't have to be the flashiest stuff in the world. But if he's leaving himself a two dart checkout after four visits, or even on a double after four visits, you're going to win legs. 100. Well, that could be that for Darren Webster. He's handed a, another gift wrap chance to Ian White. He'll stay up on the treble 20s here, even if the first one's pinned, I think. Ninety-nine. Well, didn't find the 25 he was after, so he may only get one dart at a double when he returns. 81. But Ian White, the result has not really looked in doubt since he went 4-0 up. The question was, what was the margin of victory going to be? The man who's made semi-finals in this tournament, the two previous times it's been staged. He's still looking for his spot in the quarterfinals. And Darren Webster. Needs the 57. Can't find it. 34. And in truth, just hasn't been able to find it in this match. Surely now Ian White will seal the deal. And, and finally he gets the job done. A 6-2 win for the Diamond. The back-to-back -back semi finalist is looking to make it three semi-finals on the spin in this tournament. Darren Webster storms off stage shaking his head not a happy man but the diamond will go up against stokes number two adrian lewis in an all stokey clash and a spot for a spot in the semi-finals der demolition man is schon runter von der bühne und ian white steht im viertelfinale welcome to the quarters there was sometimes the b the b game is enough huh well, yeah, um, Darren didn't throw all, all that good, um, you know, so I just had to do it at the right time. But when I went 5-0 up and they started coming back, I thought, not now, but keep it straight. 
and Darren just faltered in that leg and um, you know I ate a few good scores to get me down. In the quarters you're going to meet another Stokey, Adrian Lewis. For how many years do you know him? I've, I've known him oh, since I was playing dart. Well, started in the PDC because he was the one that helped me across and brought me across. Um, but he's not my friend today. <laughs> but yeah, he, he brought me across to the PDC and I thank him for, you know, for doing that. It's the best thing that's ever happened in my life. Yeah, cool. See you later. Thank you very much, Ian. Ian White. Der sagt, Darren klar, der hat einen gebrauchten Tag erlebt. Trifft jetzt sozusagen im Stadtduell von Stoke und Trent of Adrian Lewis.